Okay, back here on the John Deere project, I have the idler pulley, the one that tightens the tightens up the belt on the deck itself. Um, mine was a little wore out. The bushing was a little wore out, and I got another one, and it still flopped around in there. So I could tell that not only the OD of this had been whittled away, but also the ID of that. So uh, I got rid of the John Deere bushing that I bought brand new. Um, I drilled it out to three quarter inch to take care of all, take away all the rust that it had. And I bought a bushing, an oil light bushing, bronze. This one won't seize up because it's bronze. Um, not that it's really going to move back and forth a lot. You don't really need to have a bushing, but that's just a quick way of taking up the space. Um, but it's a little longer than I needed. I drove it. I drove it in as far as I could into the hole that I had previously drilled. So I'm just going to take and cut that rest of that off with an angle grinder. Um, just to show you the part I use, this is from a place called McMaster Car. It's an industrial supply house. And the part number I used on mine was 6391K511. It's oil impregnated bronze sleeve bearing for 3 8 inch shaft diameter, 3 quarter housing, 1 inch long. So I'll just have to uh, lop that off and then it'll be all sized the way I want it and won't have any up and down play like it did before. And if any, don't, any of you don't believe that oil can be inside metal, I don't know if I can get a good view of that. It is literally bubbling out the top as we speak. So there really is oil in there, if you ever wondered. And there we go. Perfect thickness, just like we need it. And now, if we put the bolt in, even the original one that's kind of worn out, I'm going to put a new one, but there is zero black backlash in that, and it turns quite nicely. So now, when we bolt that tight, that pulley won't have the up and down ability that it had before.